Part two. Part two. I have my eyes dilated. That's why I have <laughs> sunglasses on, by the way. Yep. That was weird in the first video. <laughs> All, All right. right. Your turn, Lynn. Oh. Um, viral infection of animal cells um, studied in cell culture. Animal cells form alone, um, plaques form, and find specific, specific host cell receptors typically used for cell to cell contained what? Cell to cell and contains or immune function like HIV virus. The viral infection of animal cells, host cell entry occurs by fusion with cytoplasmic membrane or endocytosis, um, uncoating, which is at cytoplasmic membrane or cytoplasm. Um, the viral DNA genomes enter the nucleus. Most viral RNA genomes are replicated or converted to DNA within the nu nucleocapsid. Animal viron assembly and infection outcomes. After genome packaging, many animal viruses are enveloped. Um, it occurs during exit through lysis or budding when virus picks up part of the cell's cytoplasmic membrane and uses it as part of an envelope. Figure 5.2, rotavirus cell entry. So it's showing where it's entering. You can read the next one. So an overview, okay. Animal viron assembly and infections, infection outcomes. At least four outcomes. Virulent lentinic infection, lysis of host cell, most common influenza virus. Latent infection. Viral DNA exists in a host genome as provirus, similar to lysogeny in bac bacteriophages, and viron are not produced. Host cell is unharmed unless slash until virulent lactic pathway is triggered. Herpes simplex cold sore eruption. Persistent infections, slow release of viron from host cell by budding does not result in host cell lysis. Infectious cells remain alive and continue to produce viruses. People are shedding viruses, AIDS, and chronic hepatitis. Transformation. Con conversion of normal cells into tumor cells. HIV virus causes cer cervical Cer ca cancer. HPV. Oh, thanks. So these are four possible effects of animal virus infection of host cells. So there's the formation of proviral state and transformation into the tumor cell, and then the tumor cell divides and then goes through transformation again. And then there's virus multiplication and then death of the cell and release of the virus where it goes through lysis and then the slow release of virus without causing cell death which is a persistent infection and then the virus present but not replicating which is called a latent infection and then which could revert to the lytic infection where it goes through lysis. Um, viral infection of plant cells. Plant viruses share many animal viral traits, um, like mostly RNA genomes, complete viron enters the cell, and viral factories form. The three major differences are the wide host range, it's not enveloped, and transmission is different because of the rigid cell walls. Plant cell walls prevent entry by endocytosis. Viruses enter through wounds or penetration by insects, nemo, nematodes, and fungi. Um, vectors are pests, um, transfer viruses to other host cell types. After entry, capsid removed, genome replicated, and new, and new virons are assembled. Movement proteins help viruses travel through plasmodesmata or channels that connect cells and infect the entire plant. So this is viral infection of plant. It starts with the viron entering the plant cell through an insect bite, and then the viral genome is replicated and capsids are made. It, the mature virus assembles, then virons infect the adjacent cell and move into the vascular system. Oh, I, I can do this one too, two pictures. So this is the viron morphology and their host. There's Zika, which is human, 
Peptino mosaic virus, which is a tomato, a Mimi virus, which is anthomophobia, which is, and then there's Hib1, Harlokirkla hispanica, and then there's Xerophage 1358, Lactococcus lactis. Um, and then this is a figure of the arrangement of RNA and protein code in tobacco mosaic virus, also known as TMV, a simple naked virus rod. So this is the virus RNA, and then those are the structural structural subunits called casimirs. Um, this looks like wooden clogs. <laughs> the kind of do. And then this is a figure of the icosahedral symmetry. Um, you see it there, and then here's the fivefold. It shows the threefold and the twofold, and then this is a cluster of five units. Alrighty, the replication cycle of a lytic bacterial virus. We need we need to know this for the test. Oh, um, oh! So <laughs> I thought you were just <laughs> telling me that. I wasn't <laughs> it's <No>. like <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so the First, you start with the cell, which is the host, and the viron, and the viron DNA enters, or no, it sits on the outside of the cell mm -hmm. and attachment, and then it absorbs the phage viron, but the protein coat remains outside, and the viral DNA enters, and that's the penetration of the viral nucleic acid, and then it's the synthesis of viral nucleic acid and protein, which is when they replicate. And then they assemble and package to make new viruses and the cell lyses and the new viruses and virons are released into the body. Figure, okay, uh, the growth curve of virus replication need to know for the test <laughs> compared to the fourth stage curve of bacteria. So this is the relative virus count versus time for plaque forming units. Uh, the following infectious virus cannot be detected in a growth medium. It's a phenomenon called ellipse. So over the latent period, there's the virus is added, and the ellipse happens, and then maturation happens, and between that, the nucleic acid protein codes in assembly and release during the latent period, which includes the ellipse and the early mat maturation phase viral nucleic acid replicates and protein synthesis occurs during the maturation period. Virus nucleic acid and protein are assembled in mature virons and then released. Um, and this is a figure of the bacteriophage receptors, E. coli, no need to memorize this for the test, but we can <laughs> still go over it anyway. <laughs> so this is the chi. And then this is the flagellum, um, and then that's the M13, the pilus, the MS2, um, the T1, iron transport protein, and then the T4, and then the LPS, and then this is the outer membrane, and then this is the cytoplasmic membrane, and then these are all peptoglycans. And then examples of cell bacteriophages and their receptor sites are as follows. She attaches to the flagellum. MS2, M13 attaches to the end of the pilus, and T1 attaches to an iron transport protein, and then VX174 attaches to LPS, and T4 attaches to LPS as well. All right, um, the time course of events in phage T4 infection, which we do need to know for the test. So you start with the infection. Um, the production of early viral proteins is first, and those are the early viral proteins. And then the replication of the viral genomes um, into the phage T4 DNA. Then the production of the late middle viral proteins, which is the phage heads and the phage tails. And then the virons assembled to make a mature T4 viron, which looks like that and then the production of the lysosome, which causes the cell lysis. And it takes 25 minutes. So this is the packaging of DNA into, into a T4 phage head mead. 
So I think that means need a note for test. Oh, I think. You're so probably right. <laughs> so this is a this shows a pro head and a motor combining, and that is the packaging motor complex with ATP. The packaging motor attaches to the pro head, and on the pro head are scaffolding proteins, capsid proteins, and portal proteins. And DS DNA mm -hmm. goes through the motor and into the pro head. And that scaffolding protein discarded until it's like coiled in there. And the packaging motor is discarded and other steps assemble until it's a mature viron. And it shows in B the portal protein, the capsid, the ATPase, T4 DNA. Um. Oh. So this is a figure of the consequences of infection by a temperate and lictic phage, phages, bacteriophage, which is very important. So well, yeah. remember this guy. Probably <laughs> on all the time. Very much attention. Yes. Okay. So we have the temperate virus and the viral DNA um, and the host DNA, and then attachment of the virus to the host cell. So the virus attaches to the host DNA, and then injection of viral DNA, and then there's two pathways it can take. It can take either the lytic pathway or the lysogenic pathway. In the lytic pathway, um, the events are initiated and then the phage components are synthesized and the virions are assembled and then the lysis of the host cell and release of new phage virons. And then in the lysogenetic pathway, um, viral DNA is integrated into the host DNA and then it forms the prophage, which can either turn into, or the viral DNA is replicated with host DNA at cell division, and it can either stay like that or it can go through induction where it goes through the lytic pathway. Should we go through that again, Mason? <laughs> <laughs> Just because it's very important. Yeah. I want to hear okay. it. I'll do the lytic and then you can do the lysinogenic. Okay, thanks. All right, so the starts with the temperate virus, with the viral DNA in it and the host DNA is in the cell. So the attachment of the virus to the host cell and it puts the viral DNA into the cell by injection. And then the lytic pathway is um, the phage components are synthesized and virons are assembled in the cell. And then lysis of the host cell happens and it releases the new phage virons into the body. Before we move on to the lysogenic pathway, mm -hmm. for the lytic pathway, where do we think the host DNA goes when it just goes straight into the lytic pathway? Wait, do you see the long light green tube? This? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but like if it just goes from here to here, to where does it go? Food for thought. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed. It's probably that. there. It's, it's just. Oh, no, it's there. It's it just there. doesn't get. Incorporated oh. into the host okay. cell's DNA, it stays separate. They just, yeah. it's, just gonna, it's just gonna attack the cell there. without so like integrating oh, into the Oh, okay. the main so difference yeah. is that this, like, the virus becomes like a part of the DNA. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, like that's a full on yeah. parasite right there. Yeah. That's like attacking yeah. your body. Okay, well, I'll go over the lysogenic pathway. So, it enters into the host DNA and the host cell, this virus. And the viral DNA integrates into the host cell DNA. In the lysogenic cell, it becomes a prophage. And the viral DNA is replicated with the host cell DNA at cell division. So it can either stay like that and keep attacking, or it can go through induction and go into the lytic pathway. And do that all over again. And all over again. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh. Oh, we're all done. <laughs> Copyright. Oh, good. Okay. The end. So now should we work on our concept map? We can. We can work yeah. on it for a little bit and then, uh, yeah. or, you know, in case we need to go, I can finish working on it. Let's run it back okay. to the beginning. Yeah. Yes. Let's just hit the main points. We can, go over we can write them down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll write them down. Just, and then I'll go in and add fine details after. Right, right. Like, so yeah. Uh, we got what is a virus. Yeah, yeah so obviously. That's the big one. Right Start with um, 
the like virus. The, uh, structure of the viral. Yeah, yeah. so structure. And you make a separate circle for that. Yeah, definitely. And then, and then a separate then circle for the culturing that they can count Should I make those all separate circles? Three separate circles, yeah. Okay. Yeah, those are like the big ones, and then we can do some. Yeah, like nature I was of virus gonna do and then like, and then when it did that, things. I would do like, per what is I would do like, oh, I would do all the dots, not the dashes. You think? What do you mean? Like under oh, what like is a virus, virus? Would I add little more little circles? No, mm. I would just hit the big points. Okay. Yeah, so maybe like obligate so intracellular parasite. Like the definition of a virus. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like virus, and then viron, viron, and then infection. So like the dots. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're in agreement. Yeah, yes. I meant not the dashes. No. That's it's important. What I said. Like real important. Okay. I got you. You got it. Yep. So then the component to that. This yeah. is under yeah. capsid. What is the virus? Yeah. Capsid. So capsid. Naked, naked virus. viruses. Yeah, and develop viruses. viruses, and then the little cap nucleocapsid. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Yeah, I just I'm adding circles and doing like their initials, and I'll go in and make it all pretty. Okay. 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 It's just a diagram. Diagram. Um, what is a virus? Uh, um, so infection. Lytic versus lysogenic. Yeah. And then. And then maybe genetic material. DNA versus RNA. Genes. Yeah. Okay. Um, Viral diverse and host. I think that one's a good yeah, one. Yeah, different hosts. Bacterial versus animal e versus plant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Protozoan. Yeah. For that slide. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Then we can put. This can go under the virion. Yeah. Put. Oh yeah, you're so right. Line. Well, this is the the only. I can actually, can I connect two circles, you think? Yeah, I can do an office yeah. structure and draw a line, like it's one of those, yeah. yeah, remember those girls that would make like, who's done your kiss <laughs> to, and made like a diagram of all the people uh -huh. in the class? Right. Family tree style. Yeah. But everyone's kind of connected Capsid in a way they shouldn't here. be. Um, Capsid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And self-assembly. Yeah. And folding. It's good. And this is just a symmetry. Yeah, so, so helical symmetry, and this is under structure. structure. So helical, and then icosahedral, and then combo complex. Yeah, I believe, where it's got both. Of, well, how would we do that in the map? It's, it's just both of those. Just both. So we would be like, just put a third one. Okay, cool. I guess, because then you can put cylindrical and spherical. Yeah, or we could just do a little thing where they're like connected. Yeah, right and combo. Then combo, boop. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. You should draw this. Yeah. Should I? <laughs> draw it in a circle. And yeah, it's a complex bacterial phage. I agree. I agree. Both types of symmetry are very important. Mm -hmm. So this is more structure. structure. So I'll put in value. We already have the envelope in one circle. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. You're so good at remembering. It's a lot of detail. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, we can just move on from this. Okay. Oh, more this pictures. Some. Yeah. Examples of viruses. <laughs> you don't like the influenza virus? No. Enzymes inside a viron. Okay, so I'll just make another circle of lysosome, the neuroaminidases. How do you say that? Neuroaminidases. Oh, oh look at Or we could just say influenza. And I guess. Then nucleic acid I like polymerase. influenza. And yeah. You've got RNA, RNA and DNA polymerase in there. Mm -hmm. And yep. DNA? Uh, yeah. RNA well, dependent and it's RNA is dependent one of them, but it's RNA it's involved. RNA becomes DNA. Do you not yeah. see DNA polymerase is involved, but it's not I one see. of the enzymes. I think the main enzymes at least. Mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, culture. Okay, that's yeah. Just another the, the big one. one. Yeah, it's a new one. Bacteria, animal, and plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with tissue cultures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is how. This is the steps I think to culturing. Yeah, I'll do tighter and flax because I already have blondes. Okay. 
It's just steps. Yeah, yeah we. This that's kind of, how you make it. That's what we did in bio lab. Yeah. yeah, we did this. Oh, oh we look, it hit twenty minutes. Okay. And yeah. I think we just finished. Yeah, we just okay. finished that section. So awesome.